Oh. <laughs> right in the goopiest. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. It is a fantastic Victoria Day long weekend here in Canada. And I can't think of a better way to spend your long weekend than riding your dirt bike. So we're just here in the Kawartha region, just outside of Kinmount, Ontario. We're here at another fantastic OFTR riding location. Um, this time, as I mentioned, we're in the Kawartha region. So this is not Scora, this is actually Korma, or the Kawartha Off-Road Motorcycle Association. Um, another sub club to the OFTR. But this is a great spot. If you live up in cottage country, this is a great place to go riding. Ooh, this is a pretty wet spot already, eh? Right off the bat, right into the mud. Let's just creep through this. Oh, man. Look at that. This trail gets started right off the right off the gate. I wonder if it goes up there. I really do want to ride through this. But I want to check out up here first before we do that. So I'm wondering if this is the actual single trap. Oh no, this is just another way into it. This is just another way into it. Well, I guess we'll just go back up here then and loop back around. This is my first time riding these trails. In fact, this is right around, I don't know if you guys are familiar with um, the racing around this area. This is actually where the, uh, this is where the corduroy enduro runs. And uh, I did race the cord once about, ah geez, I don't know, about a decade ago. <laughs> so I possibly could have rode, rode these trails then, and I just don't recall. got into it a little quicker than I was expecting that's all right but back to basically what I was saying before um, trails we're riding here today are part of Korma or the uh, Kawartha Off-Road Motorcycle Association um, like I said another sub club to the OFTR so again just like the trails there in Sipco County these are all members only trails so you do require to have an OFTR trail permit to ride these and of course insurance as well on your bike oh man quite a bit more moisture in the dirt today than there was when I was riding down Simcoe this is just hero dirt for sure is made for the mosquitoes to be pretty aggressive <laughs> all the rain we had last week but man for the sake of the dirt though can't even ask for better traction this is uh definitely something i miss when living out west with this nice soft east dirt it's just so good Oh, I think I'm back into this. This is like a little mini loop I'm on here. Well, that's no good. Oh, I'll be riding some more than that. As you see here, we got the same issues in the in the Kawartha region as we had in Simcoe. Where you just get those toe smasher stumps everywhere. <laughs> Holy, I just can't believe the traction. Well, we're going to have to find where this trail turns off and really starts getting into the loop because just riding these, this thing is a lap. That's not going to be too much fun. Let me see here. 
It splits off and goes a couple different ways here. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, this is where we just came from. Well, let's sneak back down here then. Cross back over through this river. I believe this, like I said, if you follow the racing from around here, something makes you think down there is the tunnel of love, but I, I think I'm a little off. I think I'm a little off there. Because it looks like a trail goes up through there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's back to where we came in. Oh man, so, so much traction. Phew. Back to where we started. So I think I'm gonna head up this way then. See where this takes us. That corner was a bit greasy. Oh, cool. A little slab riding. Oh, look at this. Nice trail work. Courtesy of the members of OFTR and all the, all the volunteers and workers we have keeping the trails in good shape. Look at that. How awesome is that? That's fantastic, getting that on a trail ride. Benefits of trail riding in cottage country, right? Get stunning views like that. That's one thing you don't get down on the Simcoe trails. <laughs> nice waterfront views on the side of the trail. I'm wondering, does it go? Let's go this way. That looks like single track there. I'm wondering where I'm at. I might pull out the app and find out. Let's see here. Okay, so that's trail 100. Yeah, that goes down by the water there. I wonder if that is. No, that can't be. Oh yeah, no, it's saying that's it there. Well, you know what, I'm gonna keep following that way. Let's see where that takes us. So let's see what's down here. Let's cross the road here. See where this takes us. A little sandier on this side. I'm actually surprised. There's not more, uh, I haven't seen more riders here, at least more cars in the parking area because it's May, you know, May long weekend and everything. Now granted, this is a Monday, so it's a little final day. And it did take me a little long to get out here. A little late start to the day. Oh, here we go. So yeah, this is, so this is the tunnel of love. 
if you guys are familiar with the corduroy enduro this is a pro line where they actually have to ride through that tunnel and then up through this trail here through there doesn't look too bad That was a pretty decent sized log. <laughs> Got a little off balance on that one. Now I believe, now that I'm on the south side of the south side of the forest, um, I believe this is a little bit more, a little more popular area. Oh, look at this! Got some cool uh, enduro cross stuff here. See how the 250L manages with enduro cross? Not too bad head down some of the single track here. I'm gonna put my high beams on. Perfect, just myself. No way behind me, thank you. That was awesome seeing that little girl out there riding. Oh, those big sweepers are so fun. <laughs> Little off the ideal line off that log. Oh man, are these fun. Oh. Right up here. Oh, okay, this is the main parking area. Come back in here. I'll make sure I'm not. So I'm just gonna. Oh, there's another little one over there. I'm just gonna sneak in here and check that app again. I would like to try and get down to this 125. Yeah, that'll take us down there to 115. I think that will loop us back in. But I like to snag this 160 down to 116 and then try to get into here this 125 and do that route. Here, I think that's where uh, where all these combine. I think that's where that uh, Enduro Cross thing I was playing around on is. So we'll try and get back into there and then figure out where 160 is and follow that down onto 116 out to Pinery and then hop down. Now we could hop out into Pinery just right here and ride down to 125, but I'd rather... I'd rather ride the single track there. Let's do that. Gotta yeah, keep an eye on my battery too. But meaning to buy that GoPro Enduro battery is supposed to give me 40% more record time, but only GoPro sells it. And I gotta pay shipping. And I don't really wanna pay, you know, 25 bucks shipping on a $30 battery. <laughs> Now they got these other trails here, right in there. I just gotta figure out how to, yeah, I could just cut into them from here. All right, now which one of these is 116? That must be 116. It looks like it'd be absolutely gorgeous in the uh okay so this must be where oh look at that nice mossy tree cool this trail is well worn in and this trail looks awesome oh that looks mint 
I'm using the app like a crazy today. Good thing we got it. Huh. I don't know. You know what? We're going to go the way I'm already headed and see where that takes us. Oh, cool. Look at this bridge. Like mountain biking. I think this is exactly where I wanted to come out. But let's see. <laughs> This is almost certainly Pinery Road. I mean, what other what other road would it be? Oh, no, I'm over here on this one. So yeah, well, this trail isn't even marked on here. I'm on some sort of non-existent trail. If I go down here, then I can get 125 from there. Well, I guess that's what I'm doing. <laughs> we tried every every other way to get to, get to that trail and it didn't work. So I'm going to go with the sure thing and go down the road. Until I go down the road and realize it's not a sure thing. And I miss the trail that way too. <laughs> well, I only got 23% battery left, so I don't know how, uh, I don't know what's going to grab the rest of that trail. We'll try and get this one trail in, this one final trail in, and I think that's going to be it for the day because I'm, I'm fresh out of battery. This ended up being a pretty good ride, I mean, although it was a little bit, like, discombobulated. Just kind of like, oh, let's go over here. Oh, wait, no, that didn't work. Let's go over here. <laughs> It was still a, still a really good ride. I rode past the trail and I turned around going back the other way. I put my phone <laughs> just resting on my triple clamp here uh, with the map going so I can see where the trail is. So it's supposed to be right here. <laughs> ah, of course I missed it. All right, let's see if we can get this trail in before the battery dies. Kind of have to like wall ride that rock with your front wheel. This is a pretty tacky little trail, eh? Lots of roots and rocks to maneuver around. Keep you on your toes. Right here in this stuff, this is where the super soft suspension really pairs with this bike's weight really well. It just sort of crawls over stuff like a like a snail. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's not the best way to explain it, but it just kind of manipulates its, itself over all the terrain because the suspension is so plush. Like it doesn't doesn't have the ability to deflect because it's just the suspension so soft it doesn't even push back. This one's definitely not a beginner trail. <laughs> Those corners are pretty. A little too blind to be pinned around on two-way trail for sure. A little blind for that. There we go. It was a pretty technical little jobby. Ah, no problem. No 300 required. It's a 250L with some Trackmaster 2s. 
Got a little tight there with the bars. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Right in the goopiest. Oh. Tip over sensor again. There we go, some more of those views. Hear that front end bottom out there? These snowmobile tracks, they're kind of interesting. Interesting way to get traction on the wood. Use that rock to your benefit and just brake slide to get you straight again. Where am I headed? The pro line or something? Man, that trail was awesome. All right, guys, we're gonna call it for today. I still got a little bit of battery left, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry, it was a little discombobulated. I haven't ridden up here. I shouldn't say I haven't ridden ever up here because I did race the court about 10 years ago, but I don't think it's any of the same trail. Uh, it could be, I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell. So when I release new content, you get a notification. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.